and I've seen you grow uh, in your confidence and the way that you approach the game. And I thought that you know there was no doubt in my mind that he was going to be successful as a basketball player and as a person uh, the more I got to know him. Basketball-wise, you've, you've expanded your game. You know, offensively, you've gotten better. And defensively, you know, you were able to be one of the top players in your conference, the top defensive player in your conference. Um, you've uh, really developed a uh, serious work ethic. You were in front of our bench, but you were, you were on the opposite side. And it might have been your 14th rebound, and the ball came off, and you came across the free throw lane and got the rebound. That, that'll that stick with me because of the way you did it. You you came and jumped. It's probably the most aggressive rebound I've seen you get. You lose Phil Carr, who was uh, the leading scorer. He's a double-double guy, 20 and 10. And, and you go, wow, now we got to learn how to play. We had to learn how to play without Taiwan. And now we got to learn how to play with Taiwan, but without Phil. A memory that probably most sticks with me was when I tried to tell you that you would average, you know, 20 and 15, and everybody across the country would come watch you. And I remember telling you that, believing it, okay. but I think that moment is the moment that sticks with me. Um, as far as our time together. What's one memory that will always stick with you that you share with me? Yeah, fam, you, when you banked that ball off the glass <laughs> at, the, at the time when the, uh, when the uh, shot clock was going down.